5 Causes of Lumps on the Back and How to Overcome Them A lump on the back is a condition that can be experienced by anyone. Even though it is fairly common and usually not caused by a dangerous medical condition, you must remain vigilant. Especially if the appearance of a lump on the back is accompanied by other disturbing complaints. Lumps on the back can vary in size, texture, and shape. Usually these lumps are not dangerous if they are not large in size, or are not accompanied by other complaints. There are many things that can cause a lump on the back to appear, ranging from infections, allergic reactions, skin disorders, to more serious diseases, such as cancer. Causes of Lumps on the Back Lumps on the back are not always dangerous. However, if the lump changes in appearance, grows quickly, and causes pain, it is recommended that you immediately consult a doctor. Some conditions that can cause a lump on the back include 1. Lipoma Lipomas are lumps under the skin, which are filled with fatty tissue. Apart from the back, lipomas can also grow on other parts of the body, such as the neck and shoulders. Lipomas grow very slowly and are not dangerous. The characteristic feature of this lump is that it feels soft to the touch, colorless, and generally painless. Lipoma lumps can be removed if they interfere with appearance or cause pain around the body. The way to get rid of it is by surgical removal of the lipoma. Apart from surgery, a liposuction procedure, liposuction, can also be performed to remove this fatty tissue tumor. 2. Seborrheic keratosis. Seborrheic keratosis looks like warts or dark spots on the skin. These lumps are round and feel rough on the skin. The back, shoulders and chest are areas where seborrheic keratosis is common. Seborrheic keratosis lumps are benign, but can sometimes mimic skin cancer. Therefore, a biopsy is needed to ensure that this lump is not cancer. Generally, these lumps are painless and do not require special treatment. Lump removal is only done if irritation occurs or interferes with appearance. 3. Dermatofibromas Dermatofibromas are bumps on the skin that usually appear on the legs, arms and upper back. They tend to be small in size, ranging from 0.5 to 1 cm. Dermatofibromas can be reddish, pink, or brownish in color. These lumps are painless and usually not bothersome. Doctors can remove it with minor surgery or using a laser. However, as long as they are small and not bothersome, they usually don't need special care. 4. Keratosis pilaris. Lumps on the back of this type appear brown or red, similar to prickly heat, and feel rough to the touch. Apart from the back, Keratosis pilaris can also appear on the cheeks and buttocks. Occasionally, keratosis pilaris lumps can become inflamed, especially in pregnant women or people with dry skin. However, usually keratosis pilaris does not cause complaints and does not require medical treatment, unless the lump is disturbing appearance. To get rid of it, you can take a warm bath or use a cream containing urea or lactic acid. 5. Epidermoid cyst. Epidermoid cysts or atheroma cysts are benign lumps that develop under the skin. These cysts usually appear due to a buildup of keratin, which is a natural protein found in skin cells. Apart from appearing as a lump on the back, epidermoid cysts can also appear on the chest, around the genitals, or other areas of the body. The characteristic feature of this epidermoid cyst is that it is dark in color, looks round, and is filled with white fluid-like pus. 
When infected, an epidermoid cyst will redden, ooze pus, and be painful to the touch. The doctor will give antibiotics if the cyst is infected. This type of cyst should be removed completely by surgery. Otherwise, the epidermoid cyst may form again. There's no need to panic if you find a lump on your back, as most are harmless. However, immediately consult a doctor if the lump on the back feels painful, interferes with appearance, or quickly grows and multiplies.